so I have my respirator on, but uh, so everybody knows, so that's why it sounds so weird, but I've been going at this for three and a half hours now, and this is how the wallpaper comes off. Each one of these was a little scrape or a hundred. Look at this. Do you see how little it is that it comes off? It comes off in these, like that will take me, I don't know, 15 scrapes. I'm using everything they say to use, all the professionals use it, all the right tools, sharpening my tools. You guys, do not wallpaper houses. I know you all think it's so cute and so quaint and so pretty, but somebody 50 years down the line is gonna be cussing your name because that's what I'm doing right now. Whoever put this wallpaper up was paid by the buckets of wallpaper paste that he used or she used. It is impossible to get off. And uh, I have still that whole wall to do. And it doesn't look that big. That's about, I don't know, 27 feet. <laughs> I'm not doing that today, but I'm going to try to get to that. And then I'm going to slap some Kills paint on here. And then my plaster will come back and fix all the places that the, the top coat's coming off. The top plaster. So anyway... That's my job so far today. This is, we'll make the third round of cleanup from down here. It's a nightmare. It's a freaking nightmare. So I don't think I'll be putting any wallpaper up in this house for a very long time, just out of respect for the person who 50 to 100 years from now will be taking it off. That's it for now. Oh, and I bet I don't sound so chipper and cheery now, do I? <laughs> I always sound so Pollyanna on the videos, but, uh. Not right now. This girl's tired. It's a lot, a lot of work. All right. I'll tune in later. Thanks, guys.